As a data scientist, I'm always looking for new ways to maximize efficiency and drive business value with data. So last week, when OpenAI released the Code Interpreter, one of its most powerful features yet, I simply had to try it. If you haven't already heard about Code Interpreter, this is a new ChatGPT plugin that allows you to upload code, analyze data, and build machine learning models all within the ChatGPT interface. In the past year, every time I've had to debug code or analyze a document, I'd have to manually copy-paste data into ChatGPT to get a response. Not only was this incredibly time-consuming, but the ChatGPT interface also has a corrector limit, making it difficult to perform any real data science tasks. The code interpreter solves all these issues by allowing you to upload your own data sets onto the ChatGPT interface. And although it's called the Code Interpreter, this feature isn't limited to programmers and data scientists. The plugin can help you analyze text files, summarize PDF documents, build data visualizations, and even crop images according to your desired ratio. In this video, I will show you how to access Code Interpreter and use it to generate Python code and perform data science workflows. At the end of this video, I will also be touching on whether Code Interpreter is going to replace data scientists, since lately I've been hearing a lot of talk about how this tool is going to kill data science. So stick around for that if you'd like to learn more. Now, you're probably excited to jump in and start using Code Interpreter. Let's look at how you can get started using the tool. To access Code Interpreter, you need to have a paid subscription to ChatGPT+, which is currently at $20 a month. Unfortunately, Code Interpreter hasn't been made available to users who aren't subscribed to ChatGPT+. If you can afford it, I'd suggest getting a subscription to ChatGPT+, just so that you can get a feel of the different plugins and how they can be incorporated into your workflows. I myself have been subscribed to ChatGPT+, for a few months now, and I can say with honesty that it saved me more time and money than it costs. Once you have a paid subscription, Simply navigate to ChatGPT and click on the three dots at the bottom left of the interface. Then select Settings. Click on Beta Features and enable the slider that says Code Interpreter. Finally, go to a new chat, select the GPT-4 option, and choose Code Interpreter on the drop-down that appears. You will see a screen that looks like this with a plus symbol near the text box. Okay, so this means that you've successfully enabled the ChatGPT Code Interpreter. I will show you five ways in which you can use Code Interpreter to automate data science workflows. As a data scientist, I spend a lot of time just trying to understand the different variables present in the data set. Code Interpreter does a great job at breaking down each data point for you. Here's how you can get the model to help you summarize data. We will be using the Titanic Survival Prediction dataset on Kaggle for this example. I'm going to be using the train.csv file, which I will link in the description below. So you can download it and follow along to everything I'm doing in this video. Once you have downloaded the dataset, navigate to Code Interpreter, click on the plus symbol, and upload the file that you just downloaded. I'm going to ask ChatGPT to explain all the variables in this file in simple terms. So it says working, which means that Code Interpreter is coming up with some code to help us summarize this data set. And in just seconds, it's generating some output in plain text, explaining each variable in the data set. It's saying that the data set has columns like passenger ID, survived, passenger class, and it's telling us what each of these variables mean. Okay, now I'm going to go a step further and ask Code Interpreter to perform some exploratory data analysis. I'm going to ask it to give us five visualizations that help describe this data set. OK, it's working again.
And again, in just seconds, the model has generated five plots that allow us to better understand the different variables in this data set. If you click on the Show Work dropdown, you will notice that Code Interpreter has written and run some Python code to help us achieve the end result. You can always copy and paste this code into your own Jupyter Notebook if you'd like to perform further analysis. I'm going to scroll down now. And notice that Code Interpreter didn't just stop at creating the charts for us. It's even giving us insight into the data set based on the visualizations generated. So it's telling us that females and first class passengers had higher survival rates. And these are insights that would take some time to derive by hand, especially if you aren't well versed with Python and data visualization libraries like Matplotlib. Code Interpreter helped us generate them in just seconds, which significantly reduces the amount of time consumed to perform EDA. As a data scientist, much of my time is spent on cleaning datasets and preparing them for the modeling process. Let's see if Code Interpreter can help us pre-process this dataset. So I'm going to prompt it to pre-process this dataset and clean it so we can perform machine learning modeling later on. And almost instantly, it starts telling us the steps involved in cleaning this data set. Now, keep in mind that data cleaning is a time consuming process. And although this is a simple toy data set, it would have taken me at least 15 to 20 minutes to write code from scratch to clean this data set. So this is pretty impressive. I see it as a significant tool in improving efficiency. Coming back to the task at hand, Code Interpreter is telling us that we need to handle columns with missing values in them, encode categorical variables, perform some feature engineering, and even drop columns that are irrelevant to the modeling process. And it's even written Python code to do all this pre-processing in just seconds. If you click on Show Work, you can see the Python program that it's created. And if you're new to data science or Python programming, this is actually a great way to learn these topics. You can ask Code Interpreter to provide you with a step-by-step -step explanation of all these codes and recreate them yourself. Okay, so Code Interpreter has written all this code to pre-process the CSV file, but it hasn't returned any output. So I'm gonna ask it how we can save the clean pre-processed output file. Okay, so it's provided us with a downloadable CSV file, and you can just click on it to save the clean file and proceed to analyze it or even build a machine learning model on it. Now, I want to highlight that I didn't have to run a single line of code myself throughout this process. Code Interpreter was able to ingest my file, run all the code within the ChatGPT interface, and provide me with the output. Finally, let's ask Code Interpreter to use the pre-process file to build a machine learning model that can predict whether a person would survive the Titanic shipwreck. Okay, so now it's walking us through the steps it's gonna take to build the model. It's writing Python code to build the model. And it's done. OK, so that was extremely fast. Code Interpreter has built a machine learning model in under one minute, and it was able to reach an efficiency of greater than 80%, which is really impressive. And it's also giving us a confusion matrix and a classification report summarizing model performance. And it doesn't stop there. It's also explaining what each of these metrics mean. Before we proceed, I just want to take a moment to appreciate how detailed Code Interpreter's responses are. If I was just starting out in the field of data science, I would just upload all my data sets here and 
pick code interpreter's brain, I would ask it for the best techniques that should be used to clean and analyze the model. I would question its decision to use random forests over logistic regression or decision trees, and whether it's better to perform grid search or random search for hyperparameter tuning for a specific data set. And there you have it. We've successfully built a machine learning model with code interpreter in under a minute without even writing a single line of code. Finally, another application of code interpreter that I found useful was its ability to come up with code explanations. Just the other day, I was building a sentiment analysis model and I found some code on GitHub that was relevant to my use case. I didn't understand the entire code because the author had imported some libraries that I wasn't familiar with. And with code interpreter, you can simply upload a code file and ask it to explain each line of code and you can even ask it to debug and optimize the code for better performance. Here is an example. I wrote this article years ago on building a Python dashboard using the Dash library. I haven't used Dash since, and if I want to go back to using it, I know it would take me over an hour to understand all this code. So instead of doing it the hard way, I'm just going to upload a file containing all this code I wrote years ago. And I'm going to ask Code Interpreter to do two things. First, I'm going to ask it to explain each line of code to me. And second, I'm going to ask it to remove redundant lines of code for more clarity. Okay, Code Interpreter is breaking down each line of code and explaining what was done. First, it's telling us what the Dash framework is and it's describing all the imports and dependencies. It's also highlighting some of the different types of maps that we use to create this dashboard. Now it's saying that the code is already clean, but it's suggesting that we refactor it for better readability. And it's also refactoring the code for us. Okay, great. In under one minute, Code Interpreter has rewritten my code. Notice how it has created separate functions to generate each chart, which not only makes the code easier to understand, but also allows for better replicability and code reusability. Before we end this video, I want to talk about what ChatGPT Code Interpreter means for data scientists. There's currently a lot of hype surrounding Code Interpreter, because this is the first time we're witnessing a tool that can ingest code, analyze data, and build end-to-end -end machine learning workflows. This tool can take in your requirements in plain English and use it to come up with an end product. A tool like this can significantly reduce the barrier of entry into fields like data science, programming, and data analytics. Due to this, I've seen many articles come up in the past week talking about how ChatGPT Code Interpreter is going to kill data science. And while it can be easy to get sucked into all this doom saying, it's important to remember that Code Interpreter is just another tool that's going to help us do data science more efficiently. While I do believe that generative AI poses some threat to tech workers, I think we're still far from a point in which it's going to replace data scientists completely. For example, as a data scientist myself, I'm not allowed to upload any company information onto ChatGPT. So I've been using it to build baseline models on fake data sets that I've generated on my own. Furthermore, Code Interpreter, as it is right now, cannot be used for most data science projects. Most companies store their data in SQL databases, and this data often comprises millions of rows, 
So a tool like Code Interpreter really is of no use at all. Furthermore, generative AI models like ChatGPT currently lack domain and business-specific knowledge. If you want to AI-proof your career from tools like Code Interpreter, I'd suggest gaining domain-specific knowledge in fields like finance or marketing. The last thing you want to do is to be in competition with AI. Instead, you want to be the person who can project manage AI into accomplishing a business goal. So if you're an aspiring data scientist or just starting out in the field, I'd suggest embracing AI. Use tools like ChatGPT and Code Interpreter to get data science tasks done more efficiently. That's all for this video. Thank you so much for watching. And comment down below whether you think ChatGPT Code Interpreter is just overhyped or whether it actually has the potential to replace data science. Also, don't forget to like this video and do subscribe to my channel. I will be posting more data science tips and tutorials in the next few weeks.